Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Dometic CFX 50 watt electric powered portable cooler. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on this, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents. Just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too, while this is a fairly expensive item, I did find a pretty good deal on it. I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So the CFX uh, is a electric powered cooler, basically. Um, it's a cooler that requires no ice ever, uh, completely ice free. And the temperature can be set on it to refrigerate or it can actually freeze down to minus seven degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, that's very cold. Um, a lot of these other coolers don't get that cold. So it takes a long time to freeze things or keep things frozen. It runs on a standard um, 110 outlet. You can just plug it right in. If you have an inverter for your car, it can run off that. It does pull a pretty decent amount of voltage. So keep that in mind. Um, you'll probably want to keep your car running unless you have a pretty hefty battery inside your car while this thing is keeping it, at least if you're keeping it on the freeze mode. Refrigeration mode, not as important. That is one thing about this is it's very, very well insulated. So it keeps stuff cold for a really long time. It's very efficient. It doesn't run the compressor very often uh, unless it's in freezer mode. But even then, not as much as you'd think. Um, it does come with an app that you can use with your Android phone or iOS. Uh, that can control the temperature remotely. So that's nice if you want to change something like if you're, you know, at your car or you're away from your car or wherever you have your cooler and you need to adjust the temperature. Maybe you want to turn it off because your car you turned off and you don't want it running while you're just on battery alone. You can set it to be warmer or turn it off completely. Because remember, it is a very, very well insulated cooler, um, just as good, if not better, than your Yeti style coolers. Uh, it does keep the inside very cold, even when it's not running. So you can freeze everything and then turn it off and it'll keep it for a long, long time, several days actually, before all the ice melts in it. They make quite a few different sizes and wattages uh, of it. It's basically the, the larger it is, the more watts it needs, um, but they make them from 35 watts all the way up to 100 watts. But you do, this thing is built like an absolute tank also. The build quality on this thing is just unbelievably good. It looks like some kind of sci-fi futuristic cooler that you would see on some movie set, like that they would keep like some kind of dinosaur DNA or something inside. Reminds me of that. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it just has a really nice modern look to it. And the nice thing about not having to put ice in your cooler is you can just fit so much more stuff inside of it. Most coolers, about half the actual volume is uh, devoted to the ice alone. And then everything gets soaking wet and it melts and you have to drain it. This, if it's everything, it needs no ice. So you can fit entire uh, inside devoted to whatever you're trying to keep cold. It never gets wet. It never needs to be changed. It never needs to be drained. It's just very convenient to have. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend this thing. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.